Hi, I'm Megan, and today I'm playing First Rat. And I'm going to be playing solo today. This game is published by Pegasus Spiel for 1 to 5 players, ages 10 and up, and it plays in around 30 to 75 minutes. I'm already set up and ready to go, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I've already made a separate video of how to play, and I also go over the solo setup and the solo rules in that video. So I will link that down in the description. You can go ahead and check that out. Um, and I'm playing on easy difficulty today. I'm purple, they are yellow. So, and I'm first, we're gonna go to the cheese. Normally I go to the light bulb first, but since they're there, I don't want to pay them cheese. So we're gonna just go to the cheese. All right, so they got zero for the first one, then two, and three, oops, and zero for the last one. And they're gonna take a comic. Try and shuffle these as best I can. I'm hoping they don't take the one I want. Well, that's fine. Okay, and then I'm gonna go to cheese again, I think. Or let's go to light bulb. Then we'll go to cheese, and hopefully they don't go to cheese. Three, two, zero, and zero. So they are gonna take a backpack. Oh man, they took the light bulb one. I usually like to get that one, but maybe we'll go for the cheese or the backpack or the um, apple core. All right, we're gonna go to cheese again and cheese and get two cheeses. Back to them. We're going one, two, zero, and two. So I get a cheese. We're gonna trade in those three for a three. And let's see, where do I wanna go now? I think we're gonna go to the apple core. Um, okay, they're going one, one, two, three, one, two, I get another cheese, and one. And I'm gonna go, unfortunately I was gonna go there. I think I'll still go there. Pay a cheese, get a baking soda and a vinegar. Oh, I am totally forgetting about their tracks here. So they're preparing the cheese track and then they're doing nothing and then the apple core. Okay, so back to them. I'm not sure if I already drew their card or not. Three, one, two, three. Zero, two, and one. We're gonna do apples again. So that's three, one, two, three. I think we'll go get a comic and let's take a backpack. We're gonna take the one that gives me um, an additional resource every time I land on an orange space. And I don't have enough cheese, so I gotta go back to the start. Two, two, zero, and one. Um, let's do light bulbs. So now I get two plus one plus one. Um, like one, two, three, four. And I gotta pay a cheese. I'm going one, 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 and two. We're taking another backpack. Two, 
taking a cheese. And I will go to one, two, three. We'll go to the green and get two vinegars and a baking soda. Oh, and I'm not paying attention to their tracks once again. Man, I'm doing terrible. And I already did that. Let's see. So they're taking another comic. Hopefully it's not the one I want. Tunnel one. Then they're preparing this track and they're going to put a cube on or they're going to, I don't know if that means they prepare or they put a cube on, let me check, but on the track with the highest points, which would be, oh, that's not supposed to be there, which would be this one or this one. If you reveal a card with this icon, Greg prepares the score track where he would currently gain the most points. So he prepares it. Okay. So let's do that one. Back to me, I think. Or is it their turn still? I can't remember. I think it's their turn. Three, one, two, three, one, zero, and one. And I'm going to do the orange. So I get two vinegar. So I'm at three, four, five, plus two. Okay, and then it's their turn. They're preparing the light bulb track. They are scoring for the cheese. I'm gonna start doing their scoring thing first because I keep forgetting. Zero, zero, two, and two. I'm doing light bulbs, so that's four. Zero, one, one, and three. And they're not preparing any tracks. Let's do apple cores. And we're gonna take the one that lets me um, treat orange and green as if they're the same color. We got zero, three, zero and two so i get a cheese now i'm gonna do green and get a pea and a baking soda and they're gonna get rid of the comic i think there's three cards in there that get rid of comics so these comics are gonna go fast Another tunnel. Shuffle this deck. They're taking another comic. They are taking the extra resource, or the minus resource. That would have been a good one to have. They're going zero, two, three and zero. Now let's do apple core again. Actually, no. 
Now let's do light bowl. One, two, three, four. that's four. We're gonna do orange. So we're gonna do calculator and a vinegar. They are scoring this track. They're going three, one, zero, and one. I need to start catching up here because they're ending the game really fast. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, and get four light bulbs. One, two, zero, and two. I think I'm going to race to the end. And get a new rat. They're going three, four, three, four, five. So that goes here. Zero and zero. And they're preparing the cheese track. Okay, let's see, let's do light bulbs again. I get three, four actually. So that scores this. Need to start getting more resources so I can build more rocket parts. They are scoring the apple core truck. They're going three, four, five, six. Oh yeah, the game's gonna end really soon. I'm not even gonna get my third route out. I totally forgot about my backpack right here. That's okay. Do baking soda and peas. So I get two baking sodas or three baking sodas because of my backpack and one pea. So I can build the middle rocket part. They're taking the last comic. They are going three, four, five. And then one. It'll probably end in like two more turns. So let's see, can I get, I need one more calculator and a P. It's not possible. So what should I try and score? Should I try and go for cheese? Light bulbs again? Let's go for the calculator and the vinegar. So I get two vinegars and one calculator. They are scoring this truck. And they're going two, three, four, five spaces. Oh, I have to pay them a cheese. So it's gonna end next turn. So this will be my final turn and it's not possible, I think, to get everything I want. So I can go five and get that, but then I was hoping to get another two. I guess that wouldn't have been possible. Oh, you know what? I get two calculators on my last turn because of my backpack. Keep forgetting about that. Let's I think it's most beneficial for me to do the rocket part. So we'll go five, pay them a cheese, and get a P, two P's. And I've got two calculators and one P to get me this rocket part. 
which gives me a full rocket. I think it, oh, I got one rat to the end. Okay, back to them. They're going four. One, two, three, four. There we go. That triggers the end of the game. And they are scoring this track. I still have a good chance of winning, I think. Actually, maybe not, because they have a lot of rats at the end here. But um, they didn't score a lot. They've only got five cubes out there. I guess I only have five cubes too, though. And they have a lot more rats. So they're definitely going to win this one. So let me get the score pad. Okay, let's see. So we've got me and Greg. So for the full rockets, I've got five points and they have zero. For that, I have eight and they have zero. I have eight for the, the middle here and they have six. And then I have nine for the last one and they have zero. For the cheese, they have 13. And I have zero. And for the Ratronaut, they have 28. And I have seven. That 28 point is gonna give them the win right there. All right, they've got nine on the light bulbs and I have five. On the apple core, they have seven and I have zero. I didn't get any bottle caps, no moldy cheese, no nuts. And for leftover resources, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And it's for every four, so that's two points. And they get zero for that. Zero, 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 zero. And I'm just gonna add that up now. So I got 44. And we'll do theirs now to 63. That was a big win for them. So my thoughts on this game is I really love this game. It's so fun. It doesn't take that long to play. Um, I, this is the fastest I've played it solo. Normally they don't race to the end that quickly, but I also didn't play the best strategy. I forgot, like I played this twice, two other times previously solo. And the one time I lost and the second time I won and I feel like I won because my strategy was to copy their strategy, which is basically to race to the end. So I didn't take any backpacks or anything cause that would just send me back to the start. Um, yeah, so I was just trying to race them to the end and that helped me win last time. So I feel like in solo, you've always gotta have that same strategy. You can't be taking it slow and you can't be stealing a bunch because that just doesn't give you enough resources if you keep getting sent back to the beginning where it's always just one resource instead of multiple up here. But I like the mechanics of this game. I like the um, move one rat up to five spaces or multiple rats up to three spaces. I like that, that's pretty cool. Um, so I like that. I didn't get to do it this game, but I like when I have like three or four rats out there and I can move them all on the same turn and get lots of resources. So. That is pretty cool. And I like the artwork of this game, it's cute. I like all the little cockroaches everywhere. Those are pretty cute. At, they're at the entrances of all the tunnels. And I like that you have the ability to steal these um, upgrades basically here. Um, the backpacks are really neat. But like I said, if you steal a backpack, you get sent back to the start. So then in a solo game, that really puts you behind. But I still like the 
the idea of the backpacks. I don't often get the bottle caps because it costs so much and once I'm this far up I don't really want to steal and go back to the beginning and I pretty much never take a energy drink because I don't know I don't know why I don't maybe I should take advantage of that more and then the comics are cool that they give you special abilities and you can have multiple comics um, if you decide not to go for the apple core track or getting more rats out there. And, and maybe I should have focused on getting my rats out there instead of getting the comic, who knows. Um, and I like the building of the rockets um, and I like that they chose pieces that make sense, like the baking soda and the vinegar, you know, that's how you make a rocket, like a little bottle rocket. So, um, that's what makes it go up in the air. And so that makes sense for that to be the thruster of the rocket. And then having a calculator be for the cockpit, you know, where all the controls are. That's pretty, um, I think that's really thematic. The one thing I don't like about Solo is that it's a race to the end. And I don't like how when they have a rat at the end, then the next rat adds up the values of all of the sections before it. So like at the end there, you saw that I only had one rat of his left and that meant that he adds up all four um, movement points and moves that many spaces. That's a lot of movement for one rat. So I don't like that because that, um, as you saw, greatly speeds up the game. Um... I think that's pretty much all my thoughts on this game. I still really love this game um, and I still love it solo. And normally when I play it solo, the last two times I've played it solo, I've played it on the other side of this board. On the other side of the board, these spaces where like all the color um, resource things are, are blank. And instead you have tiles that you place out randomly. So it's kind of a variable setup and then also the score tracks are blank. So you add, you know, they have little, I don't know what you call it. They have cardboard pieces with a point track. So the point tracks are all different. And so that's cool. And in that version, like sometimes you can have two cheeses right next to each other, for example. So I like the variable setup. Um, it's just with the variable setup, it's a lot to set up. and put away. So that's why I decided not to play with it this time. Um, but yeah, I really love this game. I think I would give it a eight and a half, maybe a nine. It's, it's up there in, in, um, in my ratings. I'm not sure what I rated it on BGG, but at this moment I would give it an eight and a half, maybe a nine. So yeah. Love this game, it's a good one, you should check it out. And that was First Rat, First Solo. Eventually, sometime in the future, I will play this as a two player game as well and film that so you can have that to look forward to. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider, cons consider subscribing. It really helps the channel out. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.